Hi everyone, back to the exciting world of obstructive sleep apnea. Let's talk about MADAS, or that acronym Measurable, Accessible, Differentiable, Actionable and Substantial, a little bit further here in this context. We talked about two particular segments. We had the male and female split, and we noted that the female segment was specifically targeted towards older women. Now, are these measurable? Do we know how many people in Australia suffer from obstructive sleep apnea? And the answer is yes, we've got a pretty good idea there. Okay, scientific studies, uh, health studies, also the number of people whose prescriptions are being written for that. Um, these things all inform us there on the measurable output. Okay, accessible. Now, in this particular case, when people need one of these machines, they go to a store with their prescription from their specialist and they speak to the people in store. So they come to the store. So in that sense, they are very accessible. Everybody who buys one of these machines goes to the store. OK, these are both all accessible groups. OK, now, are they differentiable? Now, gender is obviously a spectrum and oversimplifying gender is never sensible, but for the vast majority of the population, when we walk into the store, um, we've got a prescription in our hand and the person that's going to be dealing with us has got a pretty good idea of what gender we are. Okay, so you might walk in and you might be a female age 35 to 45 and you might be offered one of our grandma machines that we've noted. Slow rural internet, let's see if we can find them. Okay, our delightful grandma machines, come on. Okay, we've got our manly machine here and we've got our grandma machine here. Okay, and as a female at 35 to 45, you may be offered one of these machines as your first choice and you might not be into it. Okay, are you a differentiable segment in terms of age? Absolutely. Why haven't they segmented towards you? Because it isn't a substantial enough group. So you might decide to forego the uh, grandma machine and end up with a, um, with a manly black machine. Okay, actionable. Can we take action on these segments? Okay, and yes, clearly there is action being taken here, and it's not just in the machine here either. It's also in the um, oh look, we've got some women here as well. Notice how this particular photo is um, focusing on somebody who may be the mother of these two women. She's not looking very old. She does not look like a grandma. And look at that—the first time we've seen a picture of a woman um, with a mask on her face. Note how when we saw pictures in the other video of men with the mask on their face, they were not sleeping alone. Okay, so it's definitely an actionable group here. Um, the other one is substantial. So we talked about substantiability uh, a little bit in the last one. I don't know if substantiability is a real word. Um, it can be for the purposes of this video. We noted that older women were a much more substantial um, group than younger women even though this is obviously not a grandma um, being modelled with this machine here, um, but we have seen that clearly that it's older women that this is being targeted to. Okay, so measurable, accessible, differentiable, actionable and substantial. Those are the um, MADAS acronym that we've been talking about and that's how it applies to this particular CPAP product.